Do you want to know the top big five I've got written? I've found the top here? big five e kiwas. <laughs> top big five. <laughs> <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most big. <laughs> the most big schools. The big most. Right. <laughs> Number one. Oh, I don't know. This. This is just a. Uh, you know. This. Anyway, this is what I've got written here. <laughs> Uh, number one, what do you think the biggest school is right now? This is a, yeah, <laughs> this is a, a recent list, or you're looking at something from 1980? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, this is updated August <laughs> twenty uh, twenty uh, three years ago. Okay, not, not that still. Anyway, I'll just tell you. Okay, number one. Is, actually, we'll start from number five. <laughs> Work our out. ECC is number five. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they're the ones who took over um, Nova, that shameful, shameful school. Yeah, they That's existed kind of s- before, but they also yeah. took over Nova, right? That sordid history of Nova. For those who don't know Nova, go, go look up their, uh, their history, bad people. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did get a job with them eventually, and it, <laughs> and it was quite good. Man, it was really easy. Gabba is number four, never heard of them before. I'd heard of them, but um, I don't know much about what they do. I don't think there's a school in Sapporo or Hokkaido, a Gubba yeah. school, at the says, moment anyway. These are all AKOs, right, English, because uh, you'll most likely be teaching businessmen and women, hobbyists and or retirees. Well, Gubba is actually a one-to-one language school. That's right, yeah. one-on-one. 40. I like one-on-ones, they're good. I don't like one-on-ones too much work you gotta be like if you have a student that is kind of shy or introverted which you experience that quite a lot in japan you gotta yep. do a lot of talking man it's, you know at, at first i remember i used to have a few students like that and i used to try to ask them questions and get you know get something from them but it was such a struggle and in the end i just i stopped asking them questions and i just talk about myself for like an hour you know, just like lecturing about my weekend and all my hobbies and stuff like that. And, and they actually seem to quite enjoy that. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't know because, you know, they're so shy. They wouldn't even tell me if they were having a bad lesson or not. But it, too- was, uh, it was less stressful than trying to, yeah. you know, get blood from a stone. They were two years old, weren't they? <laughs> they were let, me tell you about, <laughs> let me tell you about my weekend. What did you get up to? <laughs> You shat yourself. Boring. Um, number th- <laughs> number three. I've, number three is Eon. There you go. Number ah, three so it's is on your Eon. list. Yeah, yeah so not not on the uh, not on the twenty twenty two list. Oh shit. Okay. Mm. Pronounced Eon. Okay. Um, <laughs> number two is Coco Juku. Communication competence. Never heard of them. And number one is you guys know this Berlitz. Apparently mm. the number one school. All right, sorry, Ben, you, you say your list now. Well, this is... Uh, okay, I'm going to begin with number... Well, actually, I started at number one, so I'll continue. So one was uh, Jet, uh, two was ah. Interact. So this is a mix of uh, Kiowa and uh, ALT. So this is yeah. just, just language schools yeah. in general. Yeah, this was the uh, like preferred jobs list or something yeah yeah Yeah. exactly uh best companies to work for basically uh number three westgate which i've uh, never really heard of but it's uh it's a company that specializes in people that want to teach at the university level so kind of what i do but i guess they're uh they work as the middleman so probably take a big cut so um i would recommend uh trying to get a direct hire for university yeah, uh, rather than going through a middleman. But we'll, next next podcast, we are going to go through the whole, uh, like the whole school. What's the word I'm looking for, Burke? The whole uh, school process, uh, school, not curriculum. So we're going through the different levels, right? Working at a kindergarten, working at an elementary school, junior high school, high school, and university, and we'll say which ones we think are the best because we've all kind of worked at one of those places at one time or another, haven't we? 
Right, yeah. right. So yeah, so for now we're just going to go briefly through how to get here, and then yeah, later on, as Matt said, we're going to more details. So number four on this, this was the the JIEC program. Do you guys know about that? This is JIEC. Yeah, this program uh, hires teachers for uh, to work in Japanese kindergartens. So that's what they specialize in. Another Japanese Japan is English communication. Is that what it stands for? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah, you need a bachelor's I'm, degree, though. I'm just gonna say right now, man, a kindergarten—that's a hard gig. Yeah, haven't done that, but uh, I take your word for it. And uh, number five is a uh, Nova on this list. Nova still Japan. going. Yeah, still going. Over 250 branches in the country. Uh, number six, Gaba which you mentioned before, Matt, the one-on-one mm-hmm. uh, language lessons. Number seven, Benesse, Benesse, B-E Studio. How do you pronounce that? Benesse. Um, oh, and this you... is uh, <laughs> this is for teaching young children. So the the youngest student would be about nine months old. So you'd be teaching like babies and toddlers, um, but average age is five to seven. So yeah, if you're looking for those kind of jobs, Vanessa BE Studio. And then the final one, number eight, is uh, ECC, which is also in your list, Matt. Yeah. So those are the top eight uh, best companies to work for uh, to teach English in Japan.